Hi, my name is Rodrigo Kamein. I'm a software developer with Saber Travel Network. Today I'm going to show you how to build the Decision Support Bar right up. The Decision Support Bar is a collection of interactive support widgets at the top of the shopping response. Our example today is going to use the Aku Weather API. When we search for air, and do a low fare shopping request. Our widget is going to sit at the top of the shopping response. When the user clicks on the widget, we will get a model pop-up with the results from AquaWeather. Let me show you how to build this project. Our first step is going to be to create a empty plugin project. Please go to File, New, Plugin Project. We will select the name Aku Weather Example. Please select Next, Next, and uncheck the box Create a Plugin using one of the templates. Our next step is going to be to create a subfolder inside our project named web-src. We will navigate to this folder with the CMD. And we will type the following command, ngv space in it. This is a concierge tool command. For more information about the concierge tool, please see our installation video. The ngv init command will ask for a project name. Please use the reverse domain standard used in Java, but with dashes instead of dot. Our name will be com dash saber dash aku weather. The author will be my name. Please enter all entries in lowercase. Once the init command is finished, we will see success in green. We can now close the CMD. We'll refresh our project. And the following structure has been created. Under the folder SRC code, main.ts is going to be our main TypeScript class. The folder code is going to contain all our TypeScript code for this project. I'll now open this project in Visual Studio Code. Our project is not yet recognizing the TypeScript modules exposed by the SDK. I need to run one more command, ngv space build, to build our project for the first time. When we're done building the project for the first time, you see our code now recognizes the TypeScript module and the error has disappeared. Before we start coding in TypeScript, we need to map our TypeScript code to our plugin. This is done by going to the manifest.mf file under extensions. Add the following extension point, com.saber.edge.dynamo.web.module. There will be a modules element added. The ID will need to match the same name that was chosen in the ngv init command. I now have a finished sample 
inside our TypeScript code under main TS. Our drawer config is going to be in charge of drawing a tile, which is the small tile that the agent sees on top of the shopping response. And a model pop-up. The model pop-up is going to appear when the agent clicks on the tile. The JavaScript object defined above is going to give us the title and different characteristics of the tile. Last, we need to use the drawer service to add this configuration. Shopping response is the tag to indicate to Saber Red that this is to be shown on the shopping response. And we are adding the drawer config created above. Our tile just has a simple message get more weather data. And our model pop-up is making the call to Aku Weather. This is done by a public TypeScript API exposed by the SDK called External Service Connector. For more information about the service, please check the SDK help guide under the chapter Saber Web Services under Data Services and Command Flow. This method accepts four parameters, a URL, a method type, get or post, a header, and a body. When it's done calling the service, we are passing the result to update model. The model pop-up uses a template HTML to display the results. The template is declared in the following decorator, template, and under this folder, templates, weather model .html, where the name of the HTML file is the same as my model pop-up class, weather model.ts and weather model.html. Our last step, once we've completed the code, is to build our project for the last time. We will do this with the same command entered as before, ngv space build. If we have success in green, we need to go back to Eclipse, to our original plugin project. Under web-src, and our plugin name, we will have the following folder, build prod. Prod will be the result of our compiled code. The final step is to create a folder named web inside our project. Inside this folder, a folder with the same project name as the one selected in ngv init, and inside the content of the prod folder. Please copy the content of the prod folder inside the subfolder for web. This has been the Decision Support Bar tutorial video. Please review the sample, let us know if there's any questions, and see you next time.